Hi folks, Ron and Nookie with you at the EMC Club in Fenway Park and uh, we're doing a dish that's currently on our EMC menu that we just came up with and it's a uh, arugula pasta with chanterelles, corn, sweet 100 tomatoes and pecorino romano. So we're going to start out by making the pasta. Pretty simple pasta dough we're making. Uh, it's just uh, three cups of flour. Ronnie's making a, a little well in the middle. We have uh, four whole eggs and four egg yolks. And uh, we'll put those right in the well. And what I did is I took some uh, fresh arugula from the farm and we just blanched it in salted water, shocked it, squeezed out all the liquid, and took half of the eggs and pureed it in the blender. So you get that real bright, Looks kind of vibrant green color. Looks great. And we're just gonna mix that in. Right in there. Gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil to it. And a little bit of salt. Nice green color on this. Right in there. And Ronnie's just gonna kinda work that together. Bring it all together in from the sides, nice and slow. And when it gets, uh, he's getting closer to the point here where he's gonna have to work his hands in. Get my hands dirty. Pasta is uh, simple to make. I think a lot of people get uh, maybe a little scared off of pasta, but uh, I mean, pretty easy to make. You can put it together, you know, no time. Yeah, we do a lot of it here. And this dish that we're doing right now, it seems like in the last few seasons here at Fenway, we do some sort of takeoff on this dish and we change it up just a little bit every year, maybe execute it a little differently, but we always put like corn, this time of year, corn, chanterelles, first of the season, tomatoes together. Um, and this is a great vegetarian pasta too. Um, obviously you could add a pancetta to this, which would be really nice, or smoked bacon, or even a, a sausage would be nice yeah, in there too. Nice. Um, and Ronnie's just kind of working that now, trying to get all that flour in there, developing some of that gluten. It's gonna work it together for about, I don't know, what do you think, about five minutes? Yeah, maybe? five, seven minutes. Five, seven minutes till it's like real soft, smooth, like a baby's bottom. Mm. You like that? Yeah, I did like that. <laughs> That's an old school one. So we're just gonna kind of roll it together, and uh, then you just kind of put it to the side and let it rest. We'll wrap it up in plastic, let it rest, let it relax, and then we're gonna roll it all out, and we're gonna put the whole dish together. So now we have our pasta's already been made and rested, and we rolled it out to almost uh, kind of a pappardelle. It's a wide noodle and uh, what we're going to do is we have a rolling boil water we're going to heavily salt it it's a theme here make sure everything is salted very well we're going to throw our pasta right in fresh pasta isn't like uh, dried pasta it cooks very quickly it's only going to take uh, just a couple minutes to cook so while that's cooking, guys, I'm gonna start in the sauce, which doesn't take much time at all either. Uh, I got a little olive oil in this hot pan. I'm gonna start by putting some corn in there. Nice hot pan. And then some chanterelle mushrooms. And these uh, have a little bit of white wine on them. So you get a little bit of color on this corn and add those chanterelles and the white wine right in there. Let that reduce for a moment. And we're gonna add some corn stock to it. We just taken the cobs from this corn and just poached them in some water with a little bit of onion and bay leaf. So we're making a vegetarian dish right now. So you could use chicken stock here if, if you didn't have corn stock. We're gonna just use corn stock. Our pasta has risen to the surface, so it's just uh, just a matter of a couple more seconds, and it will be cooked. And we're going to go right into our sauce, and then we're going to finish cooking the pasta in that sauce. And a little bit of the flour and the starch is going to come out and give you that thickness and body that you need. And I'm going to season this just a little bit. We always like to take our pastas 
and kind of cook them into the sauce and really get that flavor in the noodle. So we're basically finishing the cooking right in this juice right here. One more noodle straggler here. And of course, we always give it a little taste with a tasting spoon. Mm. We have uh, it's delicious. And I think we're ready. We're yeah. ready to go to the plate. A little butter. So we're gonna just, last second, because we don't want to overcook these, just some sweet 100 tomatoes from the farm, first of the season. And right here I've got some fresh basil leaves and some arugula leaves. We're just gonna tear those up. Nice and simple, not fussy. And just let those wilt in there. And here's a big secret too, is just a couple nubs of butter will help that sauce cling on to the pasta. And at this point, you can always add more corn stock or chicken stock if you feel like it's dried out too much, but I think this is right where we want it. So we're just gonna uh, toss it together right now. It's real bright, vibrant. It's got the chanterelles, the tomatoes, the arugula. We're gonna plate it up. This is, like we said, a great uh, vegetarian option. But of course, if you wanted to put some smoked bacon in it or pancetta or uh, anything like that would be great in there. Um, it's a real like, great summery kind of dish. We like taking those whole basil leaves and just throwing them right in there. They release a lot of their flavor. Mm. You can smell it. A little bit of the sauce. You know, the, the idea amount of sauce for this is so after you eat your pasta, you should be able to take your bread and go wipe one, wipe two, and that's it. It shouldn't be drowned in sauce. We have a little bit of Pecorino Romano right here. We're just gonna microplane over it. Looks great. It does look good, actually. So, and that right there is our arugula, pappardelle, or tagliatelle, whatever you wanna call it, with uh, chanterelle. Speed 100 tomatoes and first of the season corn. Blow it up. All right, guys, so we're gonna try the pasta now. The moment of truth. Hopefully it lives up to its hype. Mmm. Wow. That's screaming the, the, the summer. The corn stock, it really adds a lot of body. Cooking that pasta in that corn yeah, it really makes nice a nice sweetness to it, and the basil and arugula gives yeah, it a little bitterness. It's really good. It's really nice. So thanks for coming out and seeing us. If you're ever here at the ballpark, we're here every day, every night. Come over and say hello to us. Come and join us for lunch or dinner. We'll be here. Thanks, guys. Take care.